So now I'm gonna layer in what are more of like the showstopper pieces. So for example, like the, some of these beautiful tulips that we have, again, I'm gonna be taking off any extra stems, giving it a nice fresh cut. And so let's start to place those. I'm gonna cut at a 45 degree angle and start to put those beauties in. Look at that, oh my gosh, I have some pink ones. So again, taking off that extra greenery. I like this one. I don't know that I'm going to actually reflex her. I kind of like her just as she is. And for some of these tulips, I am actually just going to leave them without the reflex. Um, I'll do a few with the reflex and a few without. And we'll kind of see how it looks. Again, varying size by color and by shape, right? So we have some tall, some little bit slightly lower here with that beautiful full tulip. I am going to reflex another pink tulip and see how she looks. You can see that. Just gently pulling those petals out and back. Love the way the pink looks. Super pretty. And so I, I really think I want her a little bit more in the front there, super duper pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna find a better, higher spot for her. <laughs> now I have these incredible ranunculus, Clooney ranunculus. I mean, look at that. That is just absolutely stunning. So I wanna showcase this bad boy at the front. <laughs> And I have some, a variety of different um, color, colored ranunculus that I think are really pretty too. Again, in that kind of yellow palette um, that is so pretty. But we also have like a hint of kind of a, an orangey coral. We have that pink from the tulip. Um, and building in again, just those layers of color and height or add a dimension. And it's just kind of a playfulness there. So for example, this one, I wanna cut down a little bit cause I kind of want to have something right in here. So if you arrange in front of a mirror, that actually can be super helpful for this exact um, kind of thing to like see different heights and um, you know, get an idea of where you want certain things. I, I need something kind of right in here, I feel. Um, but for right now, we'll kind of keep putting these beauties in. I have another tulip. I think that's what I want to do is have probably another one here. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And just kind of continue to fill in. So pretty. So I think I'd like to do another open one kind of right around here just to really give it a moment. I think I like the yellow even here. Um, so we're going to do another yellow. And I'm going to reflex this one. Sometimes it can be a little tricky getting those petals back. So just, you know, it's tricky, but, you know, gently but firmly <laughs> is the key to doing what you want them to do. Almost like a daffodil, the way these are coming out. And they're so pretty. And I like facing these in different directions, too. I would say, you know, play with what feels, you know, fun and right for you. That's definitely my style though also, is very playful and colorful um, more and more. So again, you know, these are tips and tricks, but by all means, I'd love to see, you know, you kind of experiment and play with this. Maybe you wanna do it more monochromatic or have all of the same type of flower or, you know, kind of change up the heights even more and see how playful you can kind of get with it. These dancing butterfly ranunculus are just my absolute favorite for adding kind of a, 
a bit of whimsy, if you will, to an arrangement. So I am gonna definitely incorporate these. Um, this is definitely something I use a lot of, these butterfly ranunculus. I mean, they are just so stunning and so delicate, but oh, I mean, just so perfect. <laughs> It's hard to mess these up, I have to say, with butterfly ranunculus. There's no wrong way to use them. I think I may even have one down here. That could be really fun, kind of hanging down if I can find a good one. I think this one might be the one. Um, let me cut, again, a 45 degree angle. Let's see if I can't put this bad boy right in there. And you know, once you, once you get super full with some of this, that can be the challenge right of adding in you don't want to add too much because now i want to have something here <laughs> for example but that's okay i i definitely am a big proponent of just kind of letting letting the arrangement kind of show you <laughs> the way it wants to be um i just i really have um gotten more interested in that creative process and just trusting it and you know especially with the way that certain stems are, if more kind of bouncy and fun and flowy, you know, lean into that. Like, I love this little guy right here, just hanging out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add one more kind of blue moment right here, I think, and, and I think we'll be kind of in a good spot. We're looking pretty and full. Um, and then we'll kind of talk a little bit about floral recipes and how that component fits into all of this, because that is a really big part, as you know, if you've watched the full series, of you know creating a profitable floral business that can be really an important component so just kind of want like a little moment there let me see how she looks yeah i kind of like that she's just a little bit full and doing her thing so so here's sort of you know a, the work in progress but what i'd like you to consider now okay so i have this pretty frame of flowers around me is Okay, so we have done, I've done about most of the front half of this arrangement, pretty much to show you. So I would, in ordering, actually double the amount of flowers, not the amount of uh, delphinium. We definitely have, I think, enough delphinium in the back if you look here. Let me show you. So we're full with the delphinium, but we need to add, I would say, double the amount of tulips, double the amount of ranunculus. So let's say probably eight ranunculus, because I think I have three or four here. Another one two, three, four, five, six, seven um, tulips. So about, you know, 14, 15 tulips, six to eight ranunculus. Definitely have a lot of these delphinium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, about 14 delphinium in here. So, I mean, very full. I had four or five of those beautiful, I would say maybe six total for the full arrangement. You didn't would need a lot more, but of these beautiful butterfly ranunculus. So. You would want to, if you were considering doing these on a, a larger scale, let's say you're doing 15 wedding um, or event reception arrangements. So you would think about this either visually, try it out with flowers um, that you have or that you could order to test it out. You could also just, you know, once you've done this enough, like I mentally am able to say, okay, I need X amount of flowers. Um, to make it kind of look like this. And then that's how you create your flower recipe. So we have a great um, flower recipe um, document on the full e-course that I would highly recommend. It's really helpful. And so it just gives you an idea of like, as you're calculating, you know, 15 of each stem or seven or, you know, 10 of X, Y, Z um, to make a certain arrangement, then you know how to build out your flower recipe. So then you multiply that by 15, right, of each stem if you're doing 15 arrangements. So that is really helpful in getting a sense so you're not over ordering, but you're giving yourself a little bit. You know, I would definitely order a couple more stems of each because there is loss and damage sometimes, right, in, in shipping or otherwise that certainly you, you don't want to not have enough stems, but you want to keep it close to what you need. You don't want to go super over. So I hope that this is helpful in just like thinking about different ways that you can design, whether your style is like mine and colorful and a little bit funky, I would even say <laughs> in the best uh, chic way, um, or if it's more in line with the monochromatic style or fine art style or however you would like to describe it and market it. I hope you feel empowered to at least have a couple tips and tricks, understand the mechanics, play with your own creativity, and have fun in the process. So I'm so glad you're here joining me. I can't wait to keep in touch. Don't be a stranger and happy flowering.
had to get a close up with the ring light, <laughs> the aftermath. She's a pretty one.